place is on August 15, 2017, the day I decided to get baptized. Um, usually on the day you get baptized, nothing decides to go wrong, but everything decided to go wrong for me that day. Um, I wake up very energized to go to church. Um, then the moment I pull up to church, I decide I don't even want to go in anymore. I don't want to get baptized. Um, so I just decided to see how, how, how the service went. Um, so an hour in, it felt good. Two hours in, felt a little shaky. I didn't know if I wanted to do it anymore. So I just manned up and I just walked outside, got in, uh, got in line for the baptism. Um, so I, I, I'm up next and my buddy's right behind me and I turn around and I'm like, bro, I'm not doing this anymore. So I step out of line and he pulls me back in. He's like, no, you're gonna do it with us. And I was like, all right, let's just do it, whatever. Um, so I go in, they put me underwater, come up, I feel very good. Um, so I go say hi to my friends and family at church. Uh, we go to lunch and everything's going good during lunch until my phone starts vibrating. And it starts vibrating more and more like a phone call. And I never really answer my phone when I'm with my friends or family. So I knew something was up once it kept ringing and ringing. So I pulled it out, it was my best friend. Um, then he hung up very quick, so I called him back. I was a little worried. He answered, he's like, bro, you need to come get me right now. I don't know what's going on, but I think I'm getting arrested. I was like, all right, that's really weird. My buddy doesn't get into trouble at all. Uh, so I go tell my family, I need to leave real quick. I'll be right back. So I get in my car, I drive to where uh, he tells me he's at. I pull up to the scene and there's a bunch of fire, fire trucks and police cars everywhere. And I'm like, oh, this is weird. I'm getting a little nervous because there's a bunch of sirens going on. And then I see his car and his front window shattered completely. And then I look to the left and about 10 yards, there's a guy laying on the ground. I'm like, oh, okay, what's going on? I'm getting a little nervous. Don't want to get out of the car, so I call his girlfriend. Uh, she tells me the whole story. Like, this guy decided to jump in front of the car, wanted to end his own life. He was a homeless guy, so a lot of stuff was going on with him, um, assuming he didn't want to live anymore. So he decided to jump in front of my buddy's car, gets hit, and flies. And then I start looking at him, and I recognize him. I grew up playing baseball, and like after every game, I would go to the pizza parlor, the local pizza parlor. He would always be there asking for pizza and for money. Um, so that's when I started feeling like, oh, like I'm about to lose someone that I actually know. Um, so I get up, or I get out of my car, and. I don't see him moving at all, and that's when I was thinking, okay, he's dead, he's dead. And then he starts talking, he starts yelling at my buddy, but he's not moving at all. And then I was like, okay, he's paralyzed. Um, then I look over to my buddy, and he's getting locked up, like, he's going straight to the police car, and no words said at all. And I was like, okay, this is really weird. There's a guy laying on the ground, my buddy's going to jail, no one's helping this guy. Uh, then the paramedics start coming over, and me and my, or me and his girlfriend decided to go to the jail that he was getting taken to, and they were just questioning him. That's why they took him in, and um, we got him out. Uh, and then he gets a phone call a day later that the homeless guy was actually paralyzed and from his neck down, um, and that he was pressing charges and everything. So at that day, I just realized that I have to be there for the people that I love before I actually lose them. And that's it.